In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a cool cinematic intro or a teaser for your short film, which looks something like this. Before we proceed, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell so that you won't miss any Filmora tutorials in the future. First, drag the music onto the timeline and the music I selected is available on Filmstocks, where you can download effects, templates, videos, audio, and images for your video projects. Now, we're going to trim the music into 30 seconds as the original music is almost 2 minutes long. Let's listen through it and trim it. I'm going to trim the hit here, and now let's play the ending of the music to select the last note to match the beat at the beginning part of the music. Now let's play it through to see if the cut matches smoothly. Sounds great! Now play through the music that we just trimmed and create some markers on the music on the dung part. Press M on your keyboard to mark on a specific point on the track. Once we've done marking the points on the music track, let's drag the first clip onto the timeline. I think the drone is moving a little bit slow, so I'm going to speed it up. I'm going to trim it to match the first marker. Then we'll continue with the rest of the clips. Select the part you want from the clips and match it to the markers. I'll reframe and animate some clips to have a more dynamic look using the custom animation tool. Once we've done placing the footage, let's create a 2.35 to 1 widescreen cinemascope bar opener. Drag two black mats onto the timeline on top of each other and drag the end of both clips to match the length of the whole video. Now, let's start animating. Start with the top one. Insert 240 at the y-axis field for the first keyframe at the very beginning of the clip and 422.2 for the second keyframe, which is 3 seconds away from the first keyframe. For the bottom, insert minus 240 for the first keyframe and minus 422.2 for the second keyframe. Remember, these four keyframes should align perfectly in time, so they will start and finish the animation simultaneously. Now, we can see both bars are perfectly animated. Now, let's add some text. Head over to the Titles tab and search Cinematic. I'm going to look for Cinematic Title Pack Opener 11. Drag and drop onto the timeline and we're going to remove the pre-available video. Click Advance and you'll be prompted to the Advanced Text Edit window. Select the video track and delete, then adjust the duration of the title and animation. Once you're done, click OK back to the main interface and change the text to your desired text. I'll change it to Filmora Presents and adjust the text space and line space. Now, I'll adjust the text to the timing of the animation of the black bar and add a dissolve transition at the end of the title. For the next text, I'll use the same title animation on the third video clip. Simply copy and paste and tweak the text and adjust the point size accordingly. For the third text, I'll choose Cinematic Title Pack Opener 8, drag and drop onto the timeline, remove the pre-available video and adjust the timing of the text. Then, change the text accordingly and add a dissolve transition at the end. For the last text, I will have the text reveal once the last clip is finished. I'm going to add a dissolve to the end of the video clip and extend both black bars a bit. I'm using the cinematic title pack too. Remove the pre-available video and change the text and the color accordingly as the text will reveal on a black background. Then, time it to match the clip's ending, not forgetting to add a dissolve transition at the end of the clip. Now, let's play it through to see what we can adjust to make it look better. Hmm, 
Let's add a blur here to make the text pop. Trim the clip into two parts and apply Square Blur from the Effects tab. Adjust the alpha to control the blur intensity, then add a dissolve transition between the cut. Let's reframe the last clip and animate a zoom out effect. I'm going to let it scale down from 120% to 100%. Now it looks so much better. There you go, you got yourself a cinematic intro. If you'd like to recreate this video, you can navigate to Filmora Creator Academy in Filmora Video Editor and click Import Template at the bottom left of the video to get the project files, then replace the default media with your clips. Do you want to learn more about video editing? Click the subscribe button below and turn on the notification bell to stay updated when we upload new videos in the future. Do check out our other tutorials on this channel and comment below to let us know what you'd like to learn next. Till next time, stay creative with Filmora.